Hello folks, today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of the much anticipated new feature in Railway Empire, the Map Editor. So far the Map Editor only works in free mode or in sandbox mode. Hopefully one day they will implement the Map Editor in making your own custom scenario. So let's hop into free mode here and I'll show you how to get there. You scroll through your different types of maps. You have America, you have all the other scenario maps, and then you have the random map. Click on the coin and you could scroll through different year ranges on your map depending on what kind of technologies you want to start with and how many goals you would like to attempt while you're playing the game. So let's just pick 1830 to 1930 and click continue and it brings up a menu. You could select how many cities you want anywhere between 8 cities and 30 cities and you could have anywhere between 20 rural businesses and 90 rural businesses. And it just depends on how scattered you want the map. You have sliders for how much water you're going to have, your climate, and your mountains. Obviously, to the left is less water, to the right is more water. Climate to the left is a colder climate, and to the right is a warmer climate. And then mountains to the left is no mountains, and to the right is lots of mountains. And you can go anywhere between here. So let's just pick these in the middle. Here you have a map seed. You could type in anything you want, or you could have it generate a random seed for you which would just come up with a bunch of numbers. Or you could type any number you want. One, two, three. And hit generate. And it makes you a map. So this one, lots of cities, lots of rural businesses. We could always turn that down or up. Uh, we'll go eight cities, 90 businesses. That's a lot. So you could have less cities around. So you could have longer, longer train routes between your cities. And then you can control, obviously, how many rural businesses you're going to have. I believe 90 is a bit much for only having 8 cities. Uh, we'll knock this down to, say, I don't know, 30. There we go. Generate. There we go. So if you change your rural businesses, it's not going to change your map layout. But if you change how many cities you have, it will change the map layout. See that? Go back to 8. There you go. Um, changing the amount of water. Let's go no water. So you get a nice waterless map. You have lots of room. Uh, let's turn the mountains down make it nice and flat. Look at that. It's like the Midwest. We could use our climate slider. Go all the way to the left and we'll have a much colder climate and it will populate the map with areas with snow. Or we can go very hot and it'll look like a big desert. A few patches of green or anywhere in between. So let's go with a temperate climate, a few mountains, and a little bit of water. Why not? That looks good. Uh, let's go 15 cities, 40 rural businesses, and that looks like a fun map to play. Go to continue, and in here in free mode you could select how much money you start with, anywhere from 1 to 3 million, your starting city, and it will automatically populate your city names for you from cities that are already in the game. You could put how many competitors you want from no competitors, it's three. Select your AI level. Your rail network, realistic, normal, the usual stuff. So we'll just put three competitors and starting city of San Antonio Together and continue. We shall conquer them all. That's nice. Just pick that guy and load up a game. So here's our map. And it's quite large. You get a very good sized map and you have all your cities around. A little thunderstorm and you could zoom in and see. It's not super mountainy, but you have some hills here and there. And it's pretty good. This is a good map. This would be fun to play. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.